Hello everyone. This is the East Coast Economic Update for December the 14th, 2010. We meet again. Hello folks. Uh, sorry I've been so busy lately. Uh, there's been a lot of transition issues. Uh, trying to get up completely up to the house. Unfortunately now we have about six feet of snow and that's just the beginning and that's expected once you're there but trying to transport you know books and all that other good stuff makes it a little more difficult and also I've been focusing on uh, on family and thanking God uh, for the life that a year ago today I was already beginning to uh, deteriorate uh, because of my uh, virus that was destroying my heart so uh, spending a lot of quality time with my wife and really making time for her. Um, just want to touch a couple of bases. Let's check some stuff out. And I'm going to leave you with something anecdotal. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of friends here in the city. Uh, we, we won't even discuss the, uh, the horrible depression that's going on upstate. But uh, just a couple of items. Um, first, just want to leave you something with uh, as far as foreclosures are going on, uh, the street.com I had on here showing that the foreclosure plan uh, is dubbed as ineffective. Uh, the problem is that, of course, with foreclosure gate um, and a number of other items, the robo signing and all this other little hocus pocus stuff that was going on makes the law, makes the foreclosure illegal in the eyes of the law. Even though um, uh, Mr. Obama and the administration has done everything they can to make it uh, retroactively legal to basically screw you out of your land uh, whether you own a mortgage or not as the wording had been stated in his last article or his last bill that he passed um, just to show you that um, at this point ladies and gentlemen um, you know the market was was extended too far you know, we should have had this depression, or at least a severe recession back in 2001, but we basically uh, hocked ourselves up to way above our eyeballs uh, and for multiple generations, and we continue to do so regardless of the fact that there is really no solid solution to this disaster other than reproducing industry and giving people real jobs and real skills. So that's just something for you to think about. Read that article. I have a feeling, based on what I've been hearing about anecdotally, and I will get to that, um, that this is going to become even a bigger issue than it already is. And, and you think that it's not big enough at this point, but it is going to be huge. Uh, the other thing, uh, two other items, both food-related, one from foodworldorder.com. Um, <clears throat> A&P just filed for uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Uh, another big hit uh, by a, a two-fisted shot. One, the economy uh, forcing people to buy food cheaper, a la uh, uh, Walmart, and you know how I feel about Walmart. And second of all, uh, Walmart itself just undercutting everybody, knocking out independent grocers. Uh, don't forget, guys, uh, I know the A&P is a large corporation. It's been around for 151 years. But uh, those companies, and I know because I've had friends who are in that business, uh, the general manager and everybody, these are independently owned and operated grocers. Uh, you know, and many of those grocery stores uh, are found in one of the, you know, the poorest and most rural areas. Um, you guys may know, I mean, up by me, a number of the independent grocers that work for A&P and the subsequent uh, groups created their own independent grocery store, not just an IGA, but a company called PNC, which is now called Tops. Uh, basically, they're, you know, they're last now. If, if A&P does close and, and or sell off itself to a larger conglomerate, uh, a la either, uh, you know, uh, Walmart or somebody else, that would leave only these little uh, mom and pop IGAs as well as the Tops groups uh, as your only line of defense for you know a, a person you can talk to and the reason why I'm saying this is because companies like tops and so forth uh, you, the manager I've spoken to the managers of uh, PNC and tops and those guys if you say to them look I, I really want more organic food 
I want locally grown food or hey I own a small farm can I you know whatever they will respond to you they want to be part of the community um, and I think that that's where we, the support may need to be I know it should be you know it's great to go to mom and pop little local uh, farm stands I would encourage you to do so but the most important thing is that supermarkets do allow other people and I'm talking about IGAs not not Walmarts small IGAs uh, allow uh, for people to you know as a community uh, mound up their foods and sell them at a progressively uh, more reasonable price versus the independent little fruit stands. Um, also, they're 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 targeted towards their community. So you know, if if you do find a PNC or a Big Y or any of those guys that are small groups, um, support them because uh, your two choices are or three choices uh, will be uh, <laughs> growing your own food, which we know about S five ten which I have up there and we can go ad nauseum about that it's still floating around um, and uh, you know it, the little f food stands and I can speak as an independent real you know uh, uh, realtor or whatever you want to call it me I'm sorry a retailer we're getting shook on two directions uh, you know uh, nobody's giving us lines of credit even though we're credit worthy and secondly the the, the big corporations that we you know that support us with with materials uh, are going into business for themselves that's just retailers but food suppliers and so forth are only as good as the individuals who are supporting that food if you're not part of a food co-op and the reason and there is a point I'm coming to this if you're not part of a food co-op do so if there is no food co-op by you make one because this is where the future is going to hold you're it's going to be you versus Goliath and unfortunately Goliath is going to be Walmart and as you can tell from my last video that I've that I mirrored off of the Alex Jones program those guys will be working for the government who do you think is going to get uh, free reign and is going to force people who are in economic situations to force them to eat you know obviously questionable food or even worse you know be the only place where Poor people can get food at a reasonable price by creating food co-ops. You, as an individual, and you as a community, uh, control your corner of the universe, and also it gives you some political weight in controlling situations like this S510, which I also have listed. Now I'm leaving the last of the, and please read all the articles, and and please, uh, you know email me or whatever I'd love to talk to everyone now that I'm down here for a few days uh, for a few weeks actually um, finally uh, I was talking to a number of my friends here in the city uh, usually they are big uh, uh, buyers of the materialistic end of the holidays and I've spoken so far to 20 people that I know that are in a situation where they're, they're still employed and whatever and they are telling all of us uh, our friends and so forth that either send us food or uh, some handcrafted item and that's what they're going to be sending you um, I also found something else very interesting I came home um, for the Hanukkah period and I'm in a mixed neighborhood but I know all the Jewish uh, neighborhood family members with children and this year unusually I didn't see any menorah uh, Hanukkahs you know the menorahs um, lit up in the windows of families uh, and I also have spoken to a number of my uh, brethren in my local synagogue and they didn't they either gave one gift or they didn't give any gifts this year so Gerald Salente of course hits it once again on the top of the head I also found something else out very interesting um, people are refusing to uh, to do the holiday dinner and New Year's has been completely called off which is usually at least the secular holiday is where everybody who's not practicing Christmas or Hanukkah or vice versa show up all those have completely evaporated um, I think that this is another big trend uh, people are finally realizing that it's bad finally only took them two years so I will do some more videos um, and of course uh, I'll try to keep you informed of what's going on uh, with the, the move up to the homestead. So till later, peace.